was born, my dad was born, we grew up in an era where our day actually started with reading a newspaper. Okay? And the today's era is where we start the day with a mobile phone, with the mobile times. That's where we are changing from the normal physical citizens to the digital citizens. That's a major dynamic change. If you look at it, we are immigrants to the citizenship of cyber. The people who are native are the ones who are born after 1990. They are the ones who are the actual cyber citizen where they are living in a virtual world. Like we were being taught about how to behave in a society, how to behave with the parents, how to behave with my grandma. Thank, send a thank you note to visit the places which were required, which was not required. Whereas a cyber, that boy is not being taught, he's picking up on his own as to what to do in the cyber. We are in the era of single tasking, text based, you know, more verbal, more telephonic. Whereas a cyber citizen of tomorrow is multitasking. He's into different kind of screens. I will say he's a, he's a multi-screen citizen of the, the uh, era. Yeah. So when I say he's after 1990, it's very difficult for a child to apprehend as to how he's going to survive in this world. Okay. He is playing the video games right from age of one to he has got multiple screens, okay? He's a screen child from a mobile phone to an iPad to laptop screens every day in and day out. And they are playing around. They have uh, exposure to instant messaging. They have exposure to social media. They are adapt and easily adopt to the situations. And they are the content generators of the world today. If you look at it, we have huge amount of big data which is getting created. A small child who's on a Snapchat, selfies. You know, the maximum amount of selfie data is being created today. So these are the kind of citizens we are having. When coming on to the digital natives and immigrants, we are all living in the same space. I have got certain values. They have got certain values. We are trying to exchange ideas, right? But it's a very difficult situation. We are immigrants, they are the natives. And that is how we are trying to survive in this ecosystem. They have access to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, so Skype, YouTube, and name a social media activity which is there. So that is how they are communicating. They are less communicating with their parents then the imposters on the other side. It is a point of concern. And what we need to do is practically the physical citizenship has to somehow now graduate onto the digital citizenship. We, the rules of the game which we follow in the normal citizen as a, as a physical citizen have to migrate to the digital citizen. We have to tell him that he should not bully the pe people, he should behave human, he should act in a manner which is required as a normal person, he should not visit the different or the, or the unauthorized places which we don't like to visit as a student or as a, as a child and we have to migrate those things onto the cyber world. It's very difficult raising a cyber citizen today because the rules of the game are known to him. I'm not going to teach him. He's got the laptop in front of me. He is doing whatever he's wanting. Unlike while we are sitting and we are talking, we know the rules of the game. We are going to be talk, uh, talking straight. We are going to be talking what we want. Okay? Whereas, if you're hooked on to a laptop, I don't know what he's doing. Where is he moving on to the sites? This is where there's a complete dynamic change which is happening. And these cyber citizens are the one today which are a challenge for us to bring them up.
a challenge for everyone as a parent, as a, as a human being. And the moral ethics, the values which we carry today as a physical world, I don't know what my child is going to do and the character he is going to create when he is online. Okay? What are the moral values he is going to have when he is online? How he is behaving online? Is he doing a cyberbullying? Is he doing a kind of a, a blue whale kind of game he is playing? Is he under a psychological threat? Okay? These are the challenges which uh, a small child is also facing today. If you look at it, if, uh, if you take any school or any college where you have given a talk or spoken on the cyber bully, maximum number of hands do rise up. They say, yes, we were cyber bullied. But did you report? No, we did. Because we don't know whom to report to. That's a big challenge. The, the children themselves are facing such a big problem when we talk of cyber bullying. Some of the, the, the things which they don't know when they are actually in the digital space, they don't know how to create a password. They don't know how to have a password for a bank, banking site, or an email site, or a normal chat site, how their passwords are to be created, how those passwords are to be secured. Do you have to have a same password for email and a normal uh, application? The photographs what you're uploading, how are you going to be sure that the photographs are not going to be used, misused, morphed and used somewhere else? How do you know that the photographs are going to be not geotagged? How, they are not, how are you going to switch off the geotagging of the location from the way the photograph has been taken? You may be putting up some signs which may be coming behind in the photograph which we don't want to show. You know, this proprietary, like huge amount of the academic data which is there today, you know, there is a problem. The problem is people copy. There's a plagiarism problem. People copy the data and use it and sell it as their own. The proprietary ship, the copyright, the children have to start knowing, the students have to start knowing about how that proprietary of their data, the information what they're, uh, they're achieving, they're gaining is not being misused somewhere down the chain. Their private information, their email ID, their phone number, their own details are not going to be used, misused. Case in point, Facebook, if you remember, the recent case of Facebook, they have been copying or sniffing the complete data of everyone. And believe you me, I opened up an account of Facebook in 2009, and I could track back to each of my likes, each of my photographs, each of my tagging, each of my pre-information, each of my phone calls. Everything I could download in that. What is the privacy in this case? Your personal information, your choices, what do you eat, what do you want to wear, what are your interests, what are your tastes, do I want to know everyone to know it? No. The, the problem here is, this is all they are sniffing. Facebook again, Google, they have been sniffing this data and selling to the ad agencies for game, uh, earning money. So, we as a cyber citizen, the children as a cyber citizen, they have to ensure that they don't give up this kind of information to them and become a selling point of their own information to others. The permission of their data, whether they want to give the permission to take the data away, that is one they have to take a call on. They should not give the data just for like that. Professionalism. They have to be more professional in their approach. They have to be whatever information they are putting up, it should be ensured that there are the other human who is sitting on the other side. It's not just a robo or a, cha or a bot which is there on the other side. They have to be professional in their approach when they are on the, on the net as a netizen and the netiquettes. Their personal brand, you know, when you are on the net, you cannot say that I will post the data and it will go haywire. No, create your personal brand. You have to be a personal brand. Once it's, you create a personal brand, you can create a digital tattoo. And it's an inerasable, right? That is how you are going to be on the, on the net. Protection of your information. You just don't give the permissions to the apps, to the sites to take off your data, take away their, your data. And they're getting used. So these are the nine P's which I say, which 
every cyber citizen has to follow. And these are the rules of the cyberspace. They have to adhere to those rules because we were not being taught how a child has to be told to behave in the cyberspace. We were never being told as to how he has to behave in the cyberspace. What are the rules of the game? While he's doing the website, while he's going on to the IMs, he's on the email, he's on the social media, he has to be doubly sure what he's doing. He should not just give away his data on the fly. He should not just put in the information which he feels is right. right? That is where he has to be very careful about. Games which he is online playing. One of the games, the, the Blue Whale game, if you remember, it played on the psychology of the child. And so many children lost their life. That was a, one of the most dangerous games which has ever been made uh, over, the, over the period of time. Similarly, your time limits, we, while we are talking of the access to the internet, we say uh, Wi-Fi 100%, we want to give data, bandwidth, everything. But what is at the cost? How much time a student or a, or a cyber citizen has to spend the time? He has to be glued to it 24-7? No, he has to be glued to it for a particular time, which is productive. Yes, these are the call he needs to take. I, it's very good to be connected 24-7, but it's at a, at, at a price. And that's a, the call we, we have to take it always. Whatever you're doing on the net, you're creating a digital footprint, like you walk in your physical life, and those footsteps are ingrained on the, on the, on the floor. Similarly, whatever you're doing, on the net, it's ingrained on the net. It never goes away in some form or the other. So, this is indelible mark on the net. So, be careful while you are being on the net. When you are using your devices, your apps, know the privacy setting. Otherwise, this data is going to get copied, it's going to go away. Most of the applications, if you know, you know, you're just drawn in the application, the Ghana.app, uh, Ghana.com. Uh, the music or the, or the times music or other applications, the games application. Be very sure that it doesn't have a malware in it. It's not copying your information and taking it away. You have to be, you have to be worried about the viruses which are going to come on your phone, the malware which is going to come on your phone, the adware which is going to come on your phone, all those things which you should be very careful while you are a cyber citizen. What goes online stays online, like Facebook, which I told you. They told it's the data is only for three years. It's not going to go away. But say the see the the case in point today. You have the complete data which is available to you. Go on to the site. You can download free. Everyone, go on to the do download of the Facebook in the in the settings. Take it. It's all there, and you'll be surprised. You'll also find your call details available in it. Whom you called up which number, the complete di directory of your phone is all there. So, we have to be very careful. Snapchat is the one which they propagate and that was the main selling point of this uh, Snapchat was, we erase the data, it's not available after once you see it. But no, that's not the case. That photograph is going to be on the net forever. Right? That is not going to be deleted. It's only going to be hidden for some point on time for you. It's not you cannot see it, but that photograph, whatever is there, is going to be there on the net. And you have a way back machine. You can have a complete archival of the websites. So, archive of your complete trail of info data or uh, your activities on the net. So, that is how you can do it. Your Twitter feeds, you, you may delete, uh, delete the Twitter feed, but it's all available. You can take it out with the, with, the, with, the, with the way back machine. It's a very common cyberbullying. Everybody is faced it in some form or the other. As a child, I was told by the father, don't do cyberbully, don't do a bully to your sister, don't do bully to your neighborhood. But today, very common. On the net, every child, I tell you, is facing cyberbullying in some form or the other, and they are is a big problem. 
they are they are they are the ones this is a new form of bullying where they are going through a psychological effect and they lead to suicides right and we don't come to know what's happening this is how the major challenge for a cyber citizen is today why he has to be going to the blue whale site why he has to go on the game if you know the blue whale game every level it said if you are not going to do this we are going to tell your parents if you are not going to do this we are going to tell your friends if you are not going to do this we are going to tell so many people in your school and forcing a child to commit a suicide ok that is a big live situation available with us as a challenge what you are posting be careful morphing of the photographs is very common changing of the faces is very common a child is very common child pornography is very common especially among the children so that is a huge business so we have to be as a we have to train the children we have to tell these kids hey look you got to be careful you got to follow the nine p's you got to see in what's there good for you don't waste your time on the net you may be the best the technology is best everything is available on the laptop everything is available on the screen or the ipad but you have to know the limits there is a human which is sitting on the other side how are you interacting with him you have to teach the child we never did so you everybody for example take your put your hands on your heart and ask how many times have you sat with your child and told him hey what you need to do on the net how are you going to you know work on it I think so very few very few so we as a parents also have lagged or lagged in that particular area where we not taught the way we live in this normal physical space that is what is a challenge for us and you have to take a call as a are you a good citizen if you are commenting on somebody else's post is that post not going to be seen by other are you trying to you know do post something and say it's hey I just did it it doesn't make a difference you have to be very careful what you are posting you have to share what you is actually right you have to be more human when you are posting on the net when you are on the net you don't have to be a kind of uh, part of the cyber bullying part you have to leave a comments with a particular purpose so those are the things which you have to be very careful when you are doing the cyber citizen some ABC part of the cyber space is that one avoid uh, copying on the net bullying on the net avoid talking to imposters on the net B is beware of what is happening on the net C is care for the others care for yourself and be cyber safe live cyber safe 